Officers from the Clinton Township Police Department are standing guard outside the hospital room for the two suspects wanted in this case. They're in the hospital tonight, but tomorrow they're expected in a courtroom. You could feel it in your chest like it was deep and it was really close. Witnesses describe a chaotic scene Friday night at the Nottingham apartment complex in Clinton Township. It was like rapid gunfire. I could tell it was like multiple guns. One of them definitely was an automatic weapon. Clinton Township police responding to find two victims, 19 year old Deshane Holloway and 18 year old Diana Davis. Both died at the scene. Police tell me the suspects were waiting at the apartment complex for the women and fired close to 40 rounds. Like a faint scream, like you couldn't, you, I could hardly hear it over like the guns. In the victim's car, a one-year-old child that was somehow unharmed. Some bullet holes near the apartment complex still visible Monday afternoon. It's crazy, yeah. right outside our door. Those same witnesses say they heard the shots, then heard a Dodge Hellcat speed away. Police caught sight of the suspects on 94. Dash cam shows us how they were caught, crashing into a pole at 8 Mile and Grashen. Hands in the air! Hands in the air! All of a sudden I heard a big boom, you know? And I'm thinking somebody ran into the wall. I look over there, I see some smoke and like 20, 30 other cops, so. Police took 19-year-old Daryl Banks of Mount Clemens and 20-year-old Dewan Davenport of Warren into custody. They also recovered two pistols and a long gun from the Hellcat, which police say was also stolen. And when those suspects make their appearance in court tomorrow, they're expected to be arraigned on two counts of homicide in the first degree. And if convicted, they could face life in prison. Reporting live tonight in Clinton Township, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. So Dave, do we know the relationship between the suspects and the victims? Yeah, I asked that very question of police tonight. They said they couldn't comment, but they did say it's a complicated situation. So more that will likely unfold, possibly in the courtroom. All right, Dave, thank you.